Hello and welcome to Whitby at Home, Whitby Folk Week and the second of my warm-up videos. So hopefully you took part in my first video where I did some warm-up exercises with just the body and some balled up socks and a bouncy ball. If you haven't done it, it should still be available on YouTube. And now we're going to take that one step further and include your musical instrument itself. Now I'm basing this as a Nuckin Harpa warm-up because that is what I'm playing, but if you play any instrument that is absolutely fine and you can adapt what I'm going to be doing to your own instrument, whether it's violin, melodeon, whistle, flute, as it comes. So we started yesterday with some good pulse with the feet. Feet, <laughs> feet, feet. Feet. Now I'm going to play an A and I want to play it in time with my feet, like this. So if you're playing a uh, whistle, just play an A. Melody and an A. Now I'm going to change the notes that I'm playing from crotchets to quavers. Off count. connection between the feet and the notes that we're playing, just very simple notes and sort of playing around a little with the rhythms. Now this time I would like to change the feet. So like we had before when we did the same thing in the previous workshop, here are some crotchet A's and the feet are going with them. But now the feet are going to do half time. So I'm going like this, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Now I'm going to do A, D.
again, we're just making connections between trying to get the pulse through your body and out through your feet, which should help ultimately with pulse foot. So let's now do a little bit of work on pulse foot. If you haven't played any polskas before and you don't know what polska foot is, polskas are in three time. And we tap on one and we tap on three with an up in the middle. So the up is very important because the up actually changes place sometimes. But we're just going to do a simple down, up, down, down. So we're going to use two feet in this example, but if you're doing playing for a polska, it may well be just that uh, it's just one foot. So we're going to go right. Uh, first or left first, doesn't really matter, whichever is your lead foot. So it's going to go right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And you can probably hear the breath because the mic's relatively close. One, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one. Now we need to keep this going whilst we're playing. We did this yesterday, but we didn't have an instrument in our hands. So now we're just going to play some open A's whilst doing right, left, right, left, right. So one, two, I'll slow down a bit. One, two, three. Right, slightly with the bow. We're going to go with the same feet. So after three, again a bit slower. One, two, three. you're on a woodwind instrument you're just changing between the notes so we're going to go D A A A D yes. one two three right use three notes. to 
again. I want another string crossing for the Nick and Harper and the fiddle players out there. We're going to go D, A, F sharp, A, D, A, F sharp, A, D. Right, so after three, again, the feet are really important. So it's great if you can play the notes, but what I'm really looking for are the feet. So after three, one, two, three. D, A, F sharp, A, D. different chords so we're kind of getting the brain thinking about notes about the rhythm about the feet we're going to have the notes now D G and B making the chord of G major so that's D E B and we're going to go D B G B D B a C strong harper so I'm just literally moving my finger from the D up to the B there is enough time if you can and you want to you can bar the D and the B together that doesn't work so well as a bit of a big gap on my harper so I prefer to do the jump so here we go the chord of G major with the right left right left right and the notes D B G B D so after three Nice and slowly. One, two, three. Right. do them is E, C sharp, A, C sharp. Now if you're on the Nuckin Harper, I am playing a second finger E, first finger C sharp, open A, C sharp. So it's so now after three, with the feet, right, left, right, after three. One, two, three. A, C sharp, A, C that we're doing and put them into a very simple chord sequence D D G G A A D A I'll put them up here for you to see so I'll play that through nice and slowly one two three D, D. Thank you. 
we have a nice simple chord sequence and I hope because I couldn't actually see that your feet throughout the whole of that were still going one three one three one because that what was this was all about keeping your feet going one three one and keeping that link between the rhythm between your bow hand within your breathing the notes whatever instrument you are on and just keeping that going so that goes into the subconscious and as things became more and more difficult uh, you're having to think harder and harder hopefully your feet were still going if you'd completely forgotten about your feet there will always be the chance to go back to the start of the video and give it another go and keep those feet going so I'm going to warm us down now in much the same way that we started the warm up. So feet, one, two, three, four, crotchets. Waves in the bow, crotchets in the feet. Now let's match the feet with the bow hand. Crotchets in the hand. So that's the end of the warm up this morning. I hope you've enjoyed that. So hopefully you found that useful to uh, bring your hand, your pulse, everything, your feet together in a nice way. And hopefully that will have warmed you up a little bit. It won't have replaced the Whitby Hills at all, but um, hopefully next year, we'll see you in real life at Whitby Folk Week. Thanks for watching. See you soon, bye.